Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the modulation section, the envelopes and LFOs, which is this section down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a filter and say we wanted this filter to start out open and then close like that by itself. Well, we would use an envelope, right? So it's triggered by the gate and the gate is when you hit a key, essentially. So we have our envelope two here we can drag oh, so i'll show you what happens so we have like the filter there so that's where it is we'll drag the envelope that little thing right there and you notice that it changes and that blue part is the modulation depth so we'll hit a key and we'll see what happens it goes from closed to open as soon as we hit it that's because this envelope is fully open so what we can do is we can drag this little thing right here, which is the sustain, drag it down, and you see like it follows. And the time is, you know, you can go up to like 1.21 1, 1 seconds, right? And you'll notice that the filter closes. And what we're doing right now is we're effectively making a pluck. So congratulations, you, you know, you have a modulated filter, which is cool. So let's just turn this off. So one thing you have to know, the reason why I use envelope two is because envelope one is always mapped to amplitude. So this is the maximum, like, well, this is like the loudness, the amplitude of your oscillators. Um, so you'll notice right here. So like, as soon as you hit a key, the gate, fully open and then it's closed what we can do we can do fun things like the attack time so here's the time it takes for the sound as soon as you hit a key to reach full amplitude or full volume you can see it kind of gliding up right or we can adjust the release how long it takes for it to get down to zero we can adjust the curve, which is pretty cool, with this little uh, not as bright little dot thing. Right? So we can do that. We can also kind of do the same thing. So when you hit it, So you can get kind of like a pizzy kind of thing. So we'll turn the filter back on. Right, and we have, you can, you'll can. you notice that there's envelope two in the background. And uh, envelope one is highlighted in blue. And this is the, the, you know, the main envelopes that you work with. Anyway, let's uh, init, and I want to show you quickly the mod. This right here, you have your four kind of mappable knobs, which can, which can uh, control more than one thing at a time, which makes you know automation and stuff in Ableton really easy. I'll give you a, like kind of a use case for that. So we'll go uh, low and high pass 16. We'll boost the resonance, and we have our cutoff of our, our low pass, and then the frequency of our high pass. They're, they're both kind of cut off, you know, dual filter mode, low and high at uh, 12 dB uh, per octave. Uh, so we'll take this and we'll just drag this to cut off here, right? And then we'll drag this one to frequency here. And if you're ever in like, um, you know, if you want to know like what's mapped to what, when you have it selected, um, so say envelope two, You'll notice that, what is this map to? You'll notice that that's not mapped to anything. So if we have envelope two mapped to the cutoff and envelope one is mapped to the cutoff, it kind of turns off here, right? So you can visually see, and even, yeah, you can right click to and you can remove um, or bypass uh, modulation which would be envelope two or you can remove all modulators if you don't want the filter cutoff to be modulated anymore anyway so 
with this knob now, we are we can move cutoff and the frequency at the same time to get this kind of effect. You'll be able to see it better if I select it. There we go. Right? And then you can have that. And that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh, end it again. That is the mod matrix. The, well, the mod soft knobs. I, I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Mod wheel source. Oh, this is for the mod wheel. Um, anyway, uh, that's for, say, you want your mod wheel, which is this guy right here, to be mapped to something. In the way, you have this ability here and this mod wheel, which would be on your keyboard or what have you. It's mapped to that, right? And then these are different. Anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, let's move on to our LFOs. Uh, LFOs, these are, think of these as very slow uh, waveforms. So we'll do, so we'll set it to, so say if we wanted, so this is a triangle, we can map this over to cut off. That's our triangle. We can uh, do all sorts of stuff like this. Let's start out with this little folder right here. This will change the shape. So if you wanted a sign, or if we wanted, say, a square. So it travels in this time domain. Open, closed, open, closed. Which is pretty neat. You can go back to basics and do flat. So what this is, is basically nothing's going on. I want to show you what we can do. We can, for instance, double click anywhere and create a point and then drag that around, drag the curvature, add more points, drag more of a curvature. This looks familiar. It should be because this is somewhat like LFO tool. And, uh, you know, this is a free running LFO. What we can do is we can trigger it so it, every time you hit the key, it starts up, but then it repeats. If you hit the envelope, it will just repeat once. So what you have there is you have four more envelopes if you want, which can create, you know, really nice evolving sounds over time. Right? And uh, yeah, I sometimes prefer to use the LFO in the, the envelope mode. Um, as opposed to the actual envelopes, just for flexibility. And you can make them like multi-stage, which is pretty cool. And uh, all that. If you want to make them, here, I'll go, go back to flat, do that. So this is, this will be like a kind of a, a teepee triangle. One, we'll go off. Right now, it's synced. The rate is at a quarter a quarter bar we can set it to 16 uh, 1 64th really fast or really slow we can set it to a bar so this can be a bar and I'll show you a trick you can say get rid of that it's flat you can hold shift and make a step as per you know where your grid setting is set to your LFO grid so it's eight eight divisions of one bar and you can do that half bar, half, yeah, half bar. Right. Easy mapping, and that's a sync to BPM. If you, for example, we'll go flat. If you wanted this to not be synced, you wanted to be free running in terms of time, you would hit. BPM off, and it's cycle every uh, 4.2 times a second. To so like really slow, 0 0.01 times a second. So 
It's like a reverse multiplier or whatever. And you can trigger it if you want. Um, and that's good for, say, your envelope. You want your envelope to be a little bit longer, like a longer, a longer sweep. Very high quality, no stepping. Pretty nice. So let's go back to uh, BPM, and I'll kind of look at that. Uh, we have uh, triplets and dotted. These are time divisions, so you can go, you can have triplets enabled, so that little T. Or dotted. Uh, there's that. Um, I'll show you something else here. So we have we have your rate. We'll set BPM to that. So we have our right our saw wave. I will drop this onto course, which is the pitch. Right. So now it's kind of vibrating. Pretty nice. And uh, what I want to do is I want to have it rise so it doesn't so it doesn't start vibrating right away well it does but it's very minuscule from there i can delay it so you know i can make like an, an epic awesome lead that uh starts out kind of constant and then starts to vibrate Right? So you got like, you know. Yeah, pretty neat, eh? Um, that's good for your leads. I'll knit one more time. And I'll have a nice little filter here. I'll drag that. Right? What I can do is if I have something like really, oops really hard edged kind of stepping around I can smooth it out which can you know change the LFO shape and what the sound is doing pretty cool um, you may notice that um, some things you can't really map say if you want to like map the rate to LFO one or whatever. So let's let's do something. Something kind of crazy here. I want to map the rate. I can set the mod source to LFO two. So LFO two, this right here, is modulating the rate or the speed. Which you know adds more flexibility, um, and you know I can do all sorts of fun stuff with that. And you get you can get some randomness and all sorts of fun stuff. And the cool thing about Serum and how this drag and drop modulation is um, is everything that you do is automatically added to the matrix section and uh you know it's it's really yeah it's 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 really cool you don't have to go into this and just kind of like go through drop down menus and stuff like that you literally just drag and drop on here and it automatically shows up here and then you can refine it further by adjusting the curve and stuff like that which we will most likely get into and uh you can you know bypass and select the amount through here and it'll actually show you with these cool blue light things kind of reminds me of zelda and you can even for the envelope too you can adjust the intensity of the filter cutoff and add auxiliary sources but that is a little bit outside the scope of whatever. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, and that is just with the, the filter. And you have so many slots to 
add new things in. Anyway, I've talked enough. I uh, hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good